Alrighty. <clears throat> I think we are good to go. Get, uh, get some stuff off here and get started on the build. Check, check. All right, looks like that's working. Quiet start to the day, that's okay. All right, we're gonna get started on this build. Uh, we've got a 7800X 3D, we've got two terabytes of storage, 32 gigs of RAM, MSI Mag motherboard, 7900XT, and some custom cables. So should be a pretty sweet build when we're done with it. Also, I did some custom paintwork on the case, so we'll show you guys that once it's up and ready to go. All right, let's get this thing as soon as I find my knife that is not in my pocket. Be right back. <clears throat> now I'm back. I got my knife so that I can open stuff. Let's get started. We even almost started on time today. Only four minutes late. Realistically, like three minutes late because we've been... We started a couple minutes ago. Okay. And it is real quiet today, huh? Oh, cool. My I'm not getting any chat on here. Um, I'm seeing it on my phone, but not on my... Uh, is it a bald spot? I don't think so. I just got my hair cut. Uh, hold on, let me refresh my chat on Facebook on my computer. Maybe that'll fix it. Hey, there we go. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, chats weren't coming through on my computer over here. What's up, Gordy? How we doing? Patrick, good to see you. I'm doing good, man. Uh, I got the Ryzen 9 5950X paired with a 4080, and I love the combo. Looks like a great build. I'm sure your customer is going to be pretty stoked to get this PC once you're done. Oh, dude, I, I hope so. Um, it, this is a really, really awesome PC. Way better than the one I have, so... Um, yeah. I don't, I don't see a bald spot, Richard. What are you talking about? My hair is quite thick. I actually do have quite a bit of hair. Um, yo, what's up? 
I it's really hard to read your name in the YouTube chat because it's in like a funky font. Thirteen Odin one count. I can't. I'm just gonna call you Count for thirteen. Um, yeah. So we've got a really nice build today. We've got this MSI Mag X 670e, 32 gigs of Oloy RAM, 7800x 3D. Two terabytes of storage. One is a nice fast Gen 4. The other is like some backup extra storage. Uh, it's a Gen 3 SSD. And then we've got a 7900 XT. Okay. If uh, Richard's done criticizing my hairline, we are going to start <laughs> putting this CPU in. Yeah, the 5950X is pretty sick. Oh, it's body count. Uh, oh, that's what the 13, the 13 is a B. I get it. I get it. I'm cool. I'm hip. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not. But I get it now. I do. How's it going over there? All right. Let's get this AM5 in the socket. No, you're not. <laughs> I know I'm not cool and hip, Right Tech. Don't worry. Right Tech, on a scale of like one to three thousand, how sad are you that Solos is gone from Warzone now? <laughs> I got really excited that like they brought duos back. I didn't even really notice that Solos disappeared. <laughs> Sorry. Neither are you. That's fair. Ten thousand. Ooh, that's uh, that's rough. That's kind of a lot. All right. Let's get some SSDs installed, huh? <laughs> Body count, how's your day going? It's your favorite mode? As it should be. Solos is a fun mode, man. I had a lot of fun with it the other night when I was playing. Um, I just wanna make sure that like Facebook chat doesn't need to be constantly refreshed because I get the feeling that it does. Okay, um, I'm gonna do my best to sit here and refresh Facebook chat, but I'm gonna have my phone out too so I can read it there because it doesn't seem to be working properly. It's hot. Where, whereabouts do you live, body count? That it's real hot. All right. Um, I'm buying the card tonight that's gonna replace the 7900 XTX. I bought Asus Tough 4080. Oh, that's a good one. Asus makes good stuff, man. And the tough and the tough branded stuff that they have is um, a little bit more reasonably priced than their Strix stuff. SSDs, D's nuts. What? Hey, what? You playing tonight, right, Tech? Come on. All right, got that installed. This is our Mushkin Vortex. That is a Gen 4 SSD. Pushes read-write speeds of 7,000 and 5,000-ish, respectively. Getting on now, hit me up when you're done. All right. I think Navy wanted to play too, so if uh, he is not busy, we could snag him too. Um, <laughs> Texas. Yeah, Texas is always hot, though, man. I feel like Texas winter is like 80 degrees. And they're like, oh, man, it's so nice and cool here. I don't really know. I'm just making that up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to, like, constantly refresh Facebook chat because it's not updating. I wonder if I, maybe if I don't pop it out. Maybe if I don't do the popped out version of Facebook, it stays up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to, let me rearrange some stuff here so that I can keep Facebook chat going. Yeah, why is this not gonna work? Okay. I don't wanna pop it out, I just wanna make it bigger. Beautiful, beautiful. Wait, can I just make it full screen on that? Yes, yes. All right, let's see if that works. <laughs> okay. 
I'm not sure at what point you were laughing, Patrick. So I don't, I don't know what it is you were laughing about. But I'm sure I've said lots of really funny things so far. You know, because I'm just a really funny guy. Actually, my wife says she's the funny one in the relationship, so maybe I'm not that funny. Good luck with the build. Hey, thank you. Hey, what's up, Iconic? How you doing? Can I get this off now? Thank you. All right, we'll get our Mushkin element in here now. Dude, I just found out that like next weekend, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to break 100, whereas Today, like Monday, it was like upper 50s and cold. So I'm a little bit confused as to what the Idaho weather really is doing right now, but what do I know? All right, so I need this top one off. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Get down tonight. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Seem quite right. That looks right. Good, good brother's cool. Hey, love that. Yeah, man, I enjoy I enjoy building. I know a lot of people enjoy watching the builds, so I'm glad you're I'm glad you're having a good time, man. If you have any like if anyone has any questions about computers, about the builds themselves, about whatever, you know. I'm here to try and answer. I'm not saying I'm gonna have the answer for you, but I can try. All right, we don't need any more of these. These are extra M.2 um, like holders, but we don't need those right now. Okay, all right, SSD is installed. We can get our RAM installed, and then we're gonna check our um, we're gonna check our AIO. I don't know how that fractal design. Um, mounts on here. We might be able to pre-mount some of the um, brackets before we stick this into the case. Yo, what's up, Devin? How we doing? Oh my gosh, things like just fall out. Sketchy. Uh, the CPU in here is a 7800X 3D. It's got that nice big 3D L3 cache, which has been proven that is great for gaming performance. Um, it does mean there's a little bit slower clock speeds on the uh, the X3D chips, but they that cache seems to make up for it. I'm not really smart enough to know exactly what all that cache does for you to get you better gaming performance, but I know that it works. And that's really all that matters, right? It's really all that matters. Um, <clears throat> enjoy that heat. We haven't even hit 100 yet in Vegas. Oh, really? Patrick, I didn't realize you were in Vegas. You're like, you're a stone's throw away from me. You're just down the road. All right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be real toasty here. Same GPU you have? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that 4080, here's what you're talking about. Are you talking about, actually you have that 4080 or you have the 7900XTX? I can't remember. I don't remember. Come on. This is not the, there we go. Yo, what's up, Hobo? How we doing? I just shipped out your PC today, man. We'll be there any day now. Just kidding, it'll take a few days. Okay, let's look at their mounting strategy for this. Oh, did they actually use, wow, wow. Wow! Um, so this is cool. Fractal actually, so AMD provides you these nice little, nice little brackets here onto their, their motherboards for a CPU cooler to hook onto and just tighten down onto. Most AIOs don't do that. And actually a lot of air coolers even don't utilize those. So you usually have to take these brackets off, install some other nonsense, and then you tighten it down. Well, it looks like Fractal is actually going to utilize these. You can see these little hooks here. Um, that's usually for grabbing onto these these little brackets. So we shouldn't actually have to um, do anything crazy here. Uh, I'm gonna double check if there's any, um, I don't know if there's any instructions in here. Kind of seems like there's not. Okay. 
So, all right, we'll just go with it. Yeah, I don't see any instructions. So, I mean, it means we're probably gonna need this guy. So this is gonna hook around the center bit there. And then we'll need these. And then we'll probably need most of this other stuff too. So we'll just set that aside. Okay, we don't need this anymore though, for now. Not until we get the case going. Uh, yes sir, we might hit 97 today. I mean, that's that's close enough to 100 for me. I don't know about you guys. Yo, what's up, Stogs? How we doing? Yeah, you have the 4080, okay, cool. Okay, let's get this guy kind of shifted out of the way and let's show you guys, I wanna show you guys this cool case. So, this is the NZXT H7 Flow, but as you can see, I did a little custom paintwork. So this whole front, obviously, would have been black. So we, we found this place, um, actually my laser engraver told me about this place that sells graffiti paint. Uh, and it's really good. It dries quick. It dries well. Um, you don't get like, like it doesn't like paint, chip, chip off or anything like that. Um, and it was really easy to tape off. So we've got this whole front plate that I uh, painted. And then I'll show you the top. Um, you can see on here, I actually painted, you might not be able to see it super well because it's kind of zoomed in. But I painted this whole um, top bit just around where the openings are. And then I painted the power button too. So just like nice subtle accents, nice subtle silver accents. And then the cable mod cables that we got for it are also gonna have silver in them as well. So should be real nice. But let's get the uh, get these panels off so we can start working on it. Uh, yes, remind me, send, send me a message on Facebook or something to remind me, and I'll send you the tracking number. I don't know why I forgot. Probably because I shipped it, or I got it all ready to ship at like 11 o'clock last night. Um, okay. So, we'll get those off. Get the front panel off as well. Ugh, come on. Come on. I'm gonna face it towards me. It's gonna be a lot easier to get it off this way. Come on. No biggie. You. There it is. Here, come on. These these uh, things probably fit, the balls that snap into the case probably fit a little bit tighter with the extra paint on them, so. Those little, those little pieces might need to be worn down just a little bit before, before they act like normal. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pull this front fan out and we're gonna stick it up top and then we can put the AIO up front. Uh, this is gonna be liquid cooled. Uh, I was hoping you'd accidentally slip this one into the box labeled with my info. Yeah, sorry now. Um, yes, they do give you paste with it as well. Uh, most, most AIOs come pre-pasted, like they already have the thermal paste pre-applied. Um, some do not. So this one, maybe they just gave it to you in case you need to reapply it later. Um, I'm not sure yet, we'll find out. Um, you're going with an AMD GPU on your next build? Let's go, I love that. I, I really like, I really like AMD stuff. I mean, I rock, I've been rocking a 6900 XT for, shoot, I don't know how long now. Year and a half, maybe? Okay, gotta get this fan out of here. Oh, it's like tied in with this whole nonsense. There we go. Come on. Okay, got that fan out of here. Let's say out of the way. Okay. Let's. Get our motherboard in. Oh wait, we can take the top off too. Take your top off. Yeah, isn't that so cool? Didn't I do such a good job with that? Mmm. Mmm. The taping work too? Ugh, so good. I know, I'm tooting my own horn a little bit here, but I feel like I did a really good job on this one, so I'm gonna do it. 
You can't stop me. All right. Um, one other thing that I want to make sure I do right is that we, from the first attempt, put on the right. Um, we use the right motherboard um, screws. I don't know if M16. Oh, they do label theirs. Thank goodness. Wait, they don't. They don't actually label them like they should. Okay. This is your dream job. This is my dream job too. The only difference is, is I um I also have a real job too. <laughs> a real job. I have like a full-time job and I do this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing I wouldn't start my job in the in the late afternoon. Do you think a 5950X with a 7900XTX is worth it? Um if you're just gaming, I would go with a 5800X 3D rather than the um well oh, this is from fractal this is the wrong thing this is the wrong thing that i'm looking at here i want the nzxt thing pretty sure i want the six by 32s yeah i want these six by 32s We'll test one out real quick. Um, I would go with the 5800X 3D over the 5950X if you're just planning on gaming on it. If you're planning on gaming and streaming from it, then um, yeah, that's probably a good choice. All right, those work great. Those are the right cable for the right uh, fasteners. Can't think right now, you guys. Pre-paste. I mean, the nice part, like, you know, assuming they use decent thermal paste, pre-pasting is not a bad idea because, you know, they have a much more standardized process, right? Like they can make it to where it's, you know, the right amount of thermal paste every single time. So, you know, don't, don't knock it. It's sticking out, there we go. Okay. Got that set. Looks like all the holes are lined up pretty well. Good to go. That's even better. Sometimes. Sometimes it's better. I mean, it's very much less stressful when I have, like, my... <laughs> the salary from my day job and I don't have to worry about um, making money on the, the PC building business. But it's also just a lot of work. Like, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Um... I have a good stream. I've got a 3.30 meeting to get to. Dang to work. I'll catch you later when I'm off work. Um, I should be streaming tonight as well. Oh, sweet. All right, man. You have a good meeting. As good as meetings can go. And uh, we'll see you later. Yeah, body count, I would say it's like, I mean, it's not a bad combination. It just kind of depends on how you're gonna use it on whether it's the best combination, I guess would be my, would be my uh, spiel there. Okay, we've got almost all these screws in and then we can actually tighten them all down. Being a mechanic and a PC builder would be cool and kind of similar jobs. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm a mechanical engineer by trade. Um, my job now is less mechanical and a lot more on like electrical and controls, but you know, it's still uh, still got a pretty good crossover, I think. Oops. Um, was I on the was I on the front facing one that whole time? I'm sorry, guys. I thought I had switched to the down facing one, but I think I didn't. Okay, let's get all of these lovely things plugged in. Got our HD audio, which is gonna go over here. 
in the corner. Okay. Um, we get our USB 3. Which is going to go right down here, or it could go down here as well. But I think this one will be a lot cleaner. So it just goes straight out of the case from there. One thing NCXT I really like about theirs, their stuff is this, these little guards that they put here. It just makes, from the inside, it just makes it look really clean. Okay, and then we've got to do our USB 3.2, which is up here. So we'll have to, um, we'll just, we'll route it up there for now, and then uh, we'll kind of use our motherboard power cable to really uh, kind of hide where the cable comes out over here. So it's going to kind of go like this, and then it's going to kind of blend in with our motherboard power cable as much as possible. All right, and then we've got our front panel. Gonna go down over here. Just like that. Done. Okay. And that is all of the cables that come with the case. Oh wait, except for this rear fan. The rear fan needs to get plugged in somewhere. Um, so we got CPU fan, pump fan, and system fan. So I think we're gonna use the system fan slot there. And then, well, actually, yeah, because we've only got one down there. I don't think this fan is long, has a long enough cable to go down here. So the other fan that came with the case, we're gonna put in the back over here, and then we'll run that over to this side. Let's do that now. Where did I put that fan? Right here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. So it's a little easier to reach up here. Tighten down these bolts. How much would you charge to set up a PC like that to stream and game? Uh, with a 5950X and a 7900XTX? Um, I'd have to look at part costs. I think... Average part cost with that, so that GPU is about a thousand. CPU is like four or five hundred. I would guess you'd be in the realm of like thirty-four to thirty-five hundred dollars for that build. But that's you know that's really just rough, rough guess off the top of my head. Um, and it definitely depends on how flash should we make it and what case and how much storage and stuff too. But um, if you're interested. You can go to redneckengineer.com. Like, if you just want a quote on how much it might cost you to, for me to do that, just go to redneckengineer.com, fill out the custom build form, and I'm happy to, like, give you a quote on what it would cost for that. You can just put in the comments, um, you know, what all you're looking for, like, in terms of, like, if you have specific components you want to see in it, and uh, I'm happy to, to do that to you, for you. Uh, how much would a total build... Um, like how much would a 4090 build cost to in total? Um, well, I'm building, I just quoted out a 4090 build. It's got, it's got, you know, quite a bit of, you know, extra fancy, like fancy extra stuff, but it was, um, around 5,000. You can definitely, we can definitely build one for less than that, but that's how much that one cost, so... You can get one for a little less than that, for sure. Okay, top fan, rear fan installed. I know, it's a lot. I mean, think about how much that, think about how much that um, <clears throat> the 4090 itself costs. It's like $1,700 almost. Um, okay, that is all installed. Let's get our AIO installed up front here. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna move this to the side for a minute. Uh, I just wanna make sure I want a PC that can handle anything I throw at it, gaming and streaming. You definitely don't need that expensive of a, a PC to do gaming and streaming, I can tell you that much. But, you know, it's nice to have. 
Oh, see, they actually did pre-apply the thermal paste on this. They just also gave you some extra thermal paste. It's so nice of them. All right. Two PCs, then. Yeah, just get two PCs. So, this guy will probably put just like this up front, nice and high. And I'll go like that. Put the fans up front so that we can see them. All right. The fun pot begins. So. I'm gonna stick, oh, this thing has its own. Oh, because the pump is there, that's so funky, okay. Most, most AIOs put the pump here on the CPU cover area. Um, yeah, they put the pump right here in the middle of the radiator. Interesting. Very interesting. Thankfully, they give it a sufficiently long cable. All right, now we've got these fractal fans, and they kind of look like they're just standard fans, but they are RGB, so. Okay. Um, it looks like they can be daisy-chained both for the RGB and the power, which is nice. We like that. We like that a lot. Um, but yeah, TFO, like, you can, you can game and stream from, like, a 4070, 4060 Ti, um, it definitely depends on, um, like, the CPU is kind of the bigger, the bigger piece of that, especially if you're playing a game like Warzone or something that's, like, really CPU heavy, but you certainly don't need the top of the line in order to, to game and stream. Now, if you want to game and stream and still have like 180, 200 FPS, that's a different story. You do need top of the line for that. Okay. So let's run these guys through the top here. It's not falling back. Pull that through there. So this is gonna have to go there. It's like an interesting design for this uh, pump here, because now it's kind of gonna get squished. The table's gonna have to get kind of squished up there, doesn't it? As I go up, that. Do that. Um. Okay, I didn't grab any of the bolts yet, so I'm gonna have to set this down. No stone shirt today, wife beater, just a wife beater? This is a tank top, sir. This is not a wife beater. It's a tank top. Oh, shoot. Why am I doing this all inside of here? Oh, well. Too late. We're gonna do it anyways. Technically, this whole bracket thing in the case comes out so that you don't have to try and do this, what I'm doing. Oh, did I put that in the wrong bolt hole? I did. Okay. 
That's gone. Aha! We did it! Depends on where you're from. Wait, what? Depends on where I'm from? What are you talking about here? What did I miss? What did I say that I forgot already? <laughs> oh, that if this is a wife beater? A wife beater is one of those, like, white ones that's got the, like, knitted sort of texture. Tank top is basically a t-shirt without sleeves. They're completely different. Two going in. Like that. I start a thing with custom paint? Maybe. Maybe. But the custom paint on this one was so much easier. <laughs> like, literally, it took one tenth of the time that yours took. Because I didn't have to do. I didn't have. Like, the taping off and stuff was so much, so much easier. And the paint that I found now was way better. And it. It comes in such a wide variety that we probably could find you Tennessee, Tennessee orange or whatever it is, whatever it's called. It's just more expensive because I have to buy it online. I gotta pay shipping costs. Everyone loves it though. I get compliments on it all the time. Yes. Love that. Glad to hear that. Shift that up as high as we can. Uh, the GPU in this is a 7900 XT. One step below the top of the line for AMD.
Yo, what's up, Wyatt? How you doing, man? I think Noble, Noble had to leave. He had to go to a, uh, a meeting. All right, that was all nice and tight. Don't need these bolts. Oops. I don't want to throw any of them away, though. Okay. So that is installed. A little sanity check here. Good to go on that. Let's work on these cables. We just plugged in. Alright, so we've got RGB. Um, we do have a 3 pin RGB thing on the top. Alright, so cascade of these is going to be do the fan itself first, so it's gonna be this guy. Then this guy will go into that one. Then this guy will go into that one. There's all of our CPU fans tied in together. Then go up. Here. Okay, and go just like that. And we'll do the same thing for our RGB. Yeah, dude, this is gonna be a beast. All right, so this guy is gonna go into the motherboard. Take that off. This guy goes into that one. So, then this guy goes into that one. So we'll cover this one up. Over. That, and then we're gonna tape these together so they don't come separated. Uh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. We got 389 days. A across the one year mark. Let's go. Uh, you see that prototype rog motherboard where all the connections are on the back? I've heard of it. I haven't seen one in person. That does sound pretty cool. The Crosshair Extreme motherboard that I have on the Ultimate AMD PC, which that video, I finally have confirmation is coming out this week. Um, that one has a similar sort of style where a bunch of the, the cables kind of just stick out the side and get pointed directly to the back. But that sounds even, it. that new one is even more slick that that would be really cool for them to actually be just like on the back side of the motherboard rather than kind of well hidden onto the side okay these are all connected run that up through the top here and over that okay that's all in and we've got this pump one here i need to go over and in over here Side note, I dropped 20 for the first time. Let's go. Playing quads, we dropped 63 in a dub. Nice. Was that on Vondel or Almazra? <sighs> Delicious. On Vondel, let's go. Okay. Got all these cables up here. I think the plan will be to utilize this channel these cables at least so perfect then we'll run these over there 
think we'll have I think we will have to use a zip tie or two here, but it's okay. Okay, so we got all that right there. Nice little bundle. Kind of the ideal method for cable management is you just kind of do it as you go and you just add cables along the way makes it much easier to manage at the end not sure if i'm actually going to leave this usb3 here but we'll we'll put it there for now all right so that's already pretty well cable managed for what we've got in there which is nice but guy back in here. Alright, got that in there. Okay, now we can put in this guy on the front. going to take placing this guy oh, should just come out there we go. with this guy okay just like that and this I need to go like that or the other way around, but that is kind of tight. Okay. This way will be better. We can kind of point those down a little bit. That'll be clean. Okay. We need this here. I really wish this came with some sort of... Oh wait, it did! It was here! Make sure we do this correctly. This user guide. Here's Intel. Intel. AMD. Yeah, I literally just need these two guys. And these two guys, that's it. Easy. Um, and then I need to plug in this guy. Don't think it says if I need to plug this necessarily into the, the rest of them. I think I can use I think what I want to do here is actually plug in. Oh, I'm going to take that up a second. So I can get this plugged in. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this guy into the motherboard separately from all the rest of the RGB if I can reach it. Um, that way. Uh, the motherboard RGB could be different than the rest of it, but don't know if that's going to reach because it would have to go all the way down here. So I would need to probably rerun this top one down to the bottom so that I can run this one out to this top. We'll see. We'll see. Does that sound worth it to you guys? Does that sound worth it? Probably is. 
Let's just make sure we do these in the right direction. So they need to be out like this. What do you guys think? I think we should set it up so that you can do the RGB of the of the little pump housing separate from the fans or leave it open in case they add RGB fans later. Yo, what's up, Trap? How we doing? Uh, the specs of this PC will be the specs of my next PC when my son gets a little older. Right now, I can't play enough to justify buying another. That's fair. Yo, what's up, Trap? How we doing? 500 FPS machine, potentially. Yeah. Would love to even see 300 FPS on Warzone. I mean, we've got some... We've had some recent builds that can do more than 300 FPS in Modern Warfare 2, but I think I think they've all been in the, around the 200 something FPS range in Warzone. Warzone is just just eats the FPS. Just eats it up and spits it out. All right. Got that started. Run this to the back right here. Actually, you're gonna run it around into the back, I think. That, that looks good. That looks better. Okay. We're gonna tighten these down. Okay. It's all the way tightened. Feels pretty good. Okay. You can make it happen. Make it happen, Captain. Fortunately, this customer did not elect uh, for the tuning optimization package, but it'll still be good. It'll still be good. Maybe they'll see the error of their ways later on, or they'll save up the money later on to have it done. Okay. Time to put in some cables. We've got our fancy custom cable mod cables. Yo, what's up, Steve-O? How was your stream today? Were you playing with Pixie today? I saw your stream title, at least. Daddy, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Got a lot of PC builds came in recently, and so just trying to uh, get them out the door as soon as, as soon as we get stuff in in house, you know. As soon as we get parts in, trying to trying to put them together. My current setup, I can really effectively only do one at a time. So as soon as I'm getting them in here, I'm trying to get them built, get get software on them, and get them out of here. All right, we'll start with, let's see if we can find our CPU cable. There's a CPU cable right there. Okay. CPU cable installed, easy peasy. I think this thing should have come with the EPS cable as well. Yep, here we go. Uh, was great. Thanks, bro. She's back. Well, well, even though we had to stop and change her stream down to 720p because her crap laptop. Oh man, I'm sorry for that. She's about to play the new Final Fantasy game. Hey, let's go. What Final Fantasy game is out now? 
Oh, this came with... You see, this one came with combs pre-installed. So... You might want to put some combs on this one, too. Just to make sure they match. Got a couple of combs on here. Never played a Final Fantasy game, but she loves them. Oh, nice. I've never played one either. I don't even know. Like, I wouldn't even really probably be able to recognize one if I saw it. Like, I can recognize the like the covers of them, but like if someone was playing them, I don't think I'd be able to be like, oh yeah, they're playing Final Fantasy. I have no idea. No idea. Only getting 125 to 140 out of yours currently been optimized already. What's in your current one, Wyatt? You might have told me already, but I can't remember. Okay. There we go. Now we got those Homes installed so they'll match. It'll look cleaner too. Not that anyone can really see that, but. There we go, just like that. Here's my EPS cable, which is somehow stuck under my case. There go, get that one installed as well. Really don't need both of these, but. The motherboard's got the ability to use it, so might as well. Okay. Uh, you got a 7800, oh, 5800X3D and 6700XT. Okay. I feel like you can get more than that out of it. PCIe, PCIe. Optimize that by us? Yeah, I don't know who optimized it. In a really crappy case like what kind of case like does it at least have decent airflow like a cheap case is one thing but if the cheap case doesn't have airflow okay uh, i think i'm gonna have to run this through here first get it to work right That is a tight bend. All right, I guess not. I think I'm gonna have to plug it straight in and then try and get it to make that corner. It is not wanting to go make that tight turn right now. Yeah, I would say it's on I would think it's underperforming. Okay. 
There we go. That is a tight corner. Go like that. Leave it just like that. That is all in there. Let's get our power supply in with our two GPU cables, and then we can kind of almost wrap up the, the build part of this here. Airflow's AI cut some of it with tin snips. Stuff a 360 AIO in it, nice. Anybody want the standard cables for a Seasonic 1000? <laughs> Flip this guy around. A lot of optimizers pretend they know how to properly tune a X3D CPU. That is fair. Had a lot of clients come to me. Um, I know who he is. He actually blocked me on social for no reason. He never spoke to the guy. <laughs> Alright. These guys connected here. Once we get this power supply in. We'll see what options we have for routing these uh, these CPU cables. I don't know if they're long enough to actually go this way, but they might be. One crazy thing on this build is there's actually no SATA power required. That almost never happens. clients come to me oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I do a lot of big warzone streamers yourself shifty unrational swish them omit bro I've run into shifty a couple times in the last couple weeks he is super sus <laughs> not saying he's actually cheating but like super super sus plastics off on that one should you get the plastic off on this guy Like, to the point where, like, I don't call out cheaters very often, and I can usually spot the difference between someone who's really good and someone who's cheating, but... I don't know, some of that stuff, you just can't really explain it. And I was like, hmm... It's a little weird. I mean, that doesn't mean he doesn't install anything later, but I, I believe you. It's just weird, man. Some of the stuff that he, he was doing, just like, this doesn't make any sense. I didn't remember what their hybrid mode means. Hold on. Hold on. Usually somewhere on the box it says what the hybrid mode means. 
Maybe not. Is it in here somewhere? Nope. Alright, I'll just look it up. Anyone want to Google for me which... If hyper mode is engaged with the uh, Seasonic power supplies when it's pushed in or out? Usually I would assume... Oh, here you go, here you go. This switch allows users to turn off the hybrid mode. Doesn't say. Cool. Okay. Got everything installed. These CPU cables might be long enough. We'll give it a shot. Yo, what's up, Wes? How we doing, man? Good to see ya. Fastest Twitter responder in the West. Still shocked that Arm Tad hasn't washed off. Yeah, I know. I paid good money for that one, you know? Right. Just gotta know who to go to when you get the, the ones that don't wash off. I was watching that stream, dude is a little sketchy, right? He's a little sketchy. I don't really know. I just. Just didn't make any sense what was happening, okay? He's probably fine. But it looked weird. That's all I'm saying. I still want to go back and actually watch it from like his perspective. Because from my perspective, even like the kill cam, I was like, mm. wait, no, I didn't even get a kill cam, so I was like, mm. Attach these together. Electrical tape. Electrical tape is what brings us together today. We ran into him like twice too, which made it even worse. I was just like, girl, leave me alone. This. Add that into that bundle. Look at me, I'm only using two zip ties so far in this entire build, you guys. You should be so proud of me. So proud, and I'm gonna use one more to just make, just for looks, okay? This one isn't gonna really do anything. It's just gonna make it look a little bit better. See in there. Okay, that's all in there. Some motherboard cable. Stand up in here, I think, too. Okay. 
I mean, right tech. When are you playing duos or ranked with Rybot? I mean, right tech. Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure if I'll be able to play with him tonight. Like, maybe I'll. If I do, I would probably have to, like, end stream or something. Or, like, you guys will just have to, like, bear with the fact that, like, I'm gonna be, like, walking away from my computer all the time to, like, keep this. to get this thing going. Let's see. Um, didn't know you were alive. I am live. Right now. How you doing, Matt? Well, let me make sure I didn't think I missed it. Right tech spectated him for a little while and it was just whack, yeah. Yeah, the only thing that was weird about Shifty, well, the other, the, the other part about Shifty is from, in Warzone 1, he actually did get banned for cheating. Which is why we were suspect of him to start with. Come on, please. Hey, get us out of here. GPU time. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw, I saw it come in on my phone. My phone's sitting up there, but I didn't actually, I haven't been able to open it yet. Look at Wes on two platforms, hanging out. Ooh, this thing comes with a pretty sick anti-sag bracket, doesn't it? Everything in there. Cool. Sanity check that it only has two cables. Cool. Beast. This thing is chonky. Also, since when did their black editions become not black? <laughs> it's so weird. But honestly, this is actually perfect that it's not black because the whole rest of the PC, look at this, like, it just fits with the PC. We've got the We've got the whole front and the top that are silver. We've got the black and silver cables. And now the top of the GPU is silver. I mean, we couldn't have planned this any better if we tried. Maybe I did plan it. It's been long enough that maybe I knew what this was gonna look like and I've forgotten since then. I don't know. We'll probably, we'll go with I planned this cause it's too good to have not been planned, you know? What's up, Dr. Beamer? How you doing? Good to see you. Okay. Got that off. Still plastic to be taken off of this thing. The 
The monster lives. Diablo 4 after church tonight. Hey, let's go. Is it Wednesday? Oh, it is Wednesday, isn't it? This is not a satisfying peel. This thing is a pain. Okay. Got all that off. Check. I don't think... It doesn't feel like there's a peel on the fans at all. Oh, there is. All right, can't possibly be any more plastic on this thing. So, got that, it's a two, two slot GPU. Let's get two of these out. You're doing good? I'm doing good, man, doing good. This build is turning out real, real nice. Um, I'll show you the uh, the top and front panel once I get this GPU in and stuff. Because uh, I actually did some custom paint work on the top and the front and the power button um, to go with this kind of black and silver theme. So we've got silver on this GPU, we've got silver on the cables, and then we've got the silver on the case itself. So I think I think it's gonna come together real nice. Um, it's like a weird design, I guess. Okay. Come on. I need to. There you go. Okay, that's in. Um, how the heck does this thing work? Like this? Oh, so I need to install this first? Okay, okay. I know I should have thought of that. But I got excited, okay? There we go. This thing, I'm gonna have to get bolts. Ugh, scary, that was scary. Okay, there's little bolt holes there. I guess this goes underneath. Like that. Okay, so that goes like that. More custom paint, I know, right? And I got, I found some much better paint than, um, than what I used last time too, so. It turned out better and I think it, it definitely I think it turned out better and I think it was a lot easier to actually use. Okay, so we'll put these guys on. Here. Have a good night, gotta get going. All right, man, have a good night at church. Catch you later, thanks, Wyatt. Uh, guy, oh yeah, yeah. See you later, Wyatt. Okay. Um, that shouldn't touch. All right, so now we just gotta bolt through. Bolt through there, yeah? Um, and then they gave us these slightly longer ones. And I guess, is this supposed to go under here? To bolt through? 
so that it doesn't crush those. Okay. So we need to take these two bolts out. Who needs an instruction manual when you have this? When you have the brain of an engineer. Evolution pro slash progress, always nice to have, find better ways to do things. Oh, 100%. percent i put this away before I cut myself with it. The XFX, yeah, dude, it looks good, doesn't it, Brandon? All right, so this is gonna be tough to get in there, I think, but the rest of it should be pretty straightforward. You gotta stick this in here like show. Those are in place. Come on. Come on, there we go, okay. All right, I guess those won't, I guess it won't be too bad. So we're gonna try and do these bottom ones first. At least get them started first. Ugh. All right, so that one is started. That one is also started. I just noticed there is not very much room over here. I'll show you guys in just a second. Oh my God. <laughs> Check out how little room. Woo! I don't know if you guys can see that. There is like uh, eight millimeters, six millimeters maybe of room here between the end of this uh, support bracket and the, the front radiator. And to think I almost decided to have the fans and the radiator back here. I didn't say that out loud, but I definitely thought about it. Okay, we got all these in here. Let's get them tight. Ta-da! Now that is a good looking computer, huh? Guys, back. Uh, this is an NZXT H7 Flow case. It definitely is very similar Designed to the uh, to the Corsair 4000D though, so I understand the the thought there. Um, I think I'm gonna go from underneath. We go from underneath here. I think it'll look better. Okay, that through there. Let's see if I can get this other one through there too. Okay. Got those both in there. What's up, Fulmer? Good to see you. It is going good, man. We are almost done putting this bad boy together. First one install, or actually, let's line these up, I suppose. Boom, done. Pull them, they don't need to be tight. 
Let's pull them back enough so there's not a bunch of excess in the case. Be looking nice. Oh, there's a hole down here that I could have used? All right, we're gonna use that. Abort, abort. That entire piece looks like a, a beast and machine. That motherboard though. Yeah, dude, doesn't that look so good? I think this build came together really nice. All right, so we're gonna go through this bottom hole here that we totally saw before. We just wanted to, we just wanted the build to last a little longer for you guys, you know? I've been getting complaints that the builds are too short and that you guys just want, want more. Okay, not really, but. That's okay. It only took like 30 extra seconds. Yeah, foam, we're going good. Um, this build, yeah, is coming together really nicely. Um, I think the, the silver and black theme turned out way better than I think even I had hoped. So I'm pretty... Pretty happy with it. Just like that. Now that is a good looking PC. Okay, let's put top back on. So, put the front back on, and then you guys can really get that full effect of the, the work that we did here. Yeah. Cool. There it is. In all its glory, the black and silver build. I feel like this should be a signature PC that we do because this thing looks amazing. What do you guys think? Cable management already looks solid too. Like I think we're, it's a pretty big case. Yeah, it's not a bad sized case. It's a nice, uh, Kind of something slightly larger than like a Corsair 4000D, um, but not so absurdly large that it, you know it's not going to fit on a normal size desk. You know. All right, let me clip up the couple of zip ties I used in the back, and um, we'll be ready to turn it on. Nice matchmaking PC, that's right. I would dream to afford a machine like this, holy cow. I know, dude, it looks great. But I mean, you can get something that looks this good for, for a lot less than what it costs to get the components in this, you know? Gotta know how to spec things the right way in order to make sure it looks good. Okay. Who is ready to see it get turned on? Who's ready to get turned on by this thing turning on? I guess is the better question.
We're gonna dim the lights here. Get the full effect. Let's see some fire emojis in the chat if you're in kick. Maybe some of those redneck fire emo emotes that I've got on there. Yeah, that GPU, Dr. Beamer. That's sick. That's not even custom. That's the one. That's how it comes. Factory special right there. All right. Got some fire emojis from Brandon in there. Oh, I'm missing. We'll keep the one light on. Let's turn this light off. This light on. All right, are we ready? Are we ready to see this thing turn on for the first time ever? Powered by the silver button of destiny. Let's do it. Oh, she is a beaut. Oh man, this this RGB on the fractal uh, AIO looks so good. I want to see what the RGB looks like on the front. Ooh, that looks good too. Look at that. Bring it up to its full height so you can really see, see it all. Does that not look good? Here, let's turn that on. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yo, Gerald, thank you so much for the 200 stars. Thank you, Vicon. I mean, how amazing is that? And we got a little green post light, so that means it at least was gonna make it to the BIOS here. I mean, what else can I say, but it's done. Black and silver, black and silver. Yeah, I think that turned out really good. I'm kind of tempted to uh, put a little zip tie on these guys. and pull them together a little bit. Not really necessary, but I don't think it would look bad. Trying not to catch my fingers in the fan over here. Yes, yes, it's good. Even better. Flip that guy around so you can't see it. Really? Yeah, custom paint. So, custom paint on the front and the top of the case, which you can't really see here, but you can see it there a little bit. Um, so, this whole center bit that's silver, and then the power button that's also silver, that's all custom paint work. And then um, custom cables from Cable Mod. So, these, yeah, I got the black and silver on the cables. And then we just happened to pick a GPU that has this nice silver top to it. And it really ties in well with everything else that we picked. So I'm super stoked with how well this thing turned out. Um, paint job spot on. That's right. Well, that uh, that really concludes the, the build here. Um, I think it's time 
I think it's time we call it. What do you guys think? I think we call this build Benite. And uh, we'll get to working on putting some software on it later tonight. Um, yeah, should be pretty fun. You made it just in time. That's right, Vicon. Hey, job spot on. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was really, I was really nervous about it looking good on this, um, with this case, because the case already just is really well designed. It's got a nice look to it, but he said he wanted, you know, that silver accent to it, and I think it just, I think it does, it did come out perfectly, thankfully. <clears throat> Thing is slick. I hope they're not Raider fans. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to California, so. To be honest, I don't remember where it's going. I'll find out when I uh, do the shipping label. <laughs> GG's, thanks, Dr. Beamer. All right, folks. We are gonna call it on the stream here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate everyone tuning in. Um, we're gonna get working on software on this thing and uh, probably play some, some video games while it's updating, you know? All right. Have a good one. Never have too many bags of screws, Dr. Beamer.